welcome students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. Um, we're working on the chapter 10 summary practice test and in looking at this practice test there's only six questions. Um, if you've watched and had done the watched the videos and had done the problems for the drill problems and word problems then these here uh, problems for the practice test shouldn't be that difficult. Um, what I notice here is that chat, uh, questions number three and four are associated together and question six is going to be uh, the US rule and from our previous experience doing the uh, doing the US rule does take some time so problem number six is going to be a separate video and so uh, the way this is going to lay out is I'm going to do one and two which should be relatively quick in the first video do three, four, and five in the second video, and then question number six in the third video. Okay, so let's move on. All right, let me change slides here. All right, and let me get my pen. All right, it says here, Lorna Hall's real estate tax of 2010-88 was due on December 14th, 2009. So the $2,010.88 is principal. Lorna lost her job and could not pay her tax bill until February 27, 2010. And so um, the penalty for late payment is 6.5% ordinary interest, so that's the rate. And since we're looking at a penalty, that would be interest. So uh, we have our formula interest is equal to principal times rate times time, and we're going to be looking for interest. And what we also notice here is that this was December 14th, which will take us to December 31st um, through the end of the year, and because she's paying it back on uh, February 27th. So someplace in between there, we also have January 31st. Okay. And I just bring that up because I'm not going to use the calendar, the Julian calendar. I'm just going to do the timeline and do the math in the and in order to be able to figure out the uh, number of days. Okay. And it's also telling us that she's using ordinary interest, which is 360 days. So what is the penalty Lorna must pay? So principal times rate times time. So our principal is 2010.88 times our rate which is 0 0.0065, 6.5% times our time. This is over 360 days. So from December 14th to the 31st, you know, that's 17 days. For the month of January, that's 31 days and 27 days in February. So 17, uh, 31, and 27 is 75 days. So 75 um, in the numerator there. And now it's just a matter of doing the math. 2010.88 times 0 0.065 times 75 gives me 9,803.04 over 360. And when I divide by 360, I end up with $27.23 as the interest. Okay, so $27.23 is the penalty she must pay. So what's the total amount Lorna must pay on February 27th? So that's a maturity value. The total amount is principal plus interest. So I have $2,010.88 and my interest is $27.23. Add those together. $8.3 Zero two, so that's two thousand thirty-eight dollars and eleven cents is the maturity value. Okay, so that's two zero three eight eleven. All right. Okay, number two. Anne Hopkins borrowed sixty thousand for her child's education. So that's the principal. She must repay the loan at the end of eight years. That's the time. And notice that that's in years. So we're not looking at days and having to use the ordinary interest of 360 or the 
exact interest of 365 and we're not looking at months where we would um, put that over 12 okay since this is years and our interest rate is in years it's an annual interest rate um, all we need to do is just multiply by the eight years you'll see that um, when I do the problem here okay so it says she must repay the loan at the end of eight years in one payment what is the maturity value and must repay so remember maturity value is equal to principal plus interest and we know that the principal is 60,000 but we have to figure out the interest and the interest of course is interest is equal to principal times rate times time and so I have 60,000 times the five and a half percent interest 0 0.055 and since we're looking at eight years just simply eight right and that's what what I'm alluding to here is I could eight over one because this is annual well I don't need to put the over one right because it's a yearly rate and you know as I was alluding to when we're looking at days you know we have the ordinary interest of 360 uh, 365 for the exact interest and if we were given something like 18 months right we will put that over 12 well eight years is over one okay so yours is over the one and I don't need to write that because one times one times one is still one so that's uh, to give you a visual as to you know this eight all right so it's 60,000 times 0 0.055 times 8 and that comes out to uh, $26,400 in interest okay so we add the $26,400 to our principal and we end up with $86,400 as the maturity value that she must repay okay simple as that all right now I'm gonna stop the video here then work problems three, four, and five in the next video.